So for the editing text assignment, it is actually a pretty quick and easy assignment, but just because it's easy and, and kind of basic doesn't mean it shouldn't look good. So I really want to make sure in this video that I'm em emphasizing that you should make good, smart design choices. So the point of this assignment is to get you to learn a little bit about editing text, a little bit more about editing text. So you're doing it based on this tutorial, and this tutorial is showing you how you can search or filter classifications for your font. So I expect that you're doing that when you're choosing what font you want to use for your card. You can see a couple of different examples from this tutorial, so I would like you to experiment with your fonts and try to get two fonts in there, or two fonts that are same, but different hierarchy in terms of size or scale, um, and then this one and in the example there was some transparency so that adds a nice little touch. A couple things I want you to note. First, your image should be high resolution. So if you are using your own images and it's taken from a cell phone, it, hopefully it is a high resolution image and it'll work in here. If you don't have images, you can go to unsplash.com. Um, that's my favorite, but there's also pexels.com, pixabay.com. And these are all copyright free photos that you are allowed to use. So another thing when you're doing this, there should be a hierarchy. So in my opinion, you should have two different text boxes and that will be done in the tutorial. But this is actually how I design a lot of things in InDesign. Even though these two things are close together so they seem like they're in the same text box, it's easier if you want one to be designed one way like this one's big and this one's small to actually use two different text boxes. So uh, the last thing I wanna make sure that you do is that you always go out to the bleed. So usually any document you set up in InDesign, you should automatically be adding a bleed. So this should have a 0.125 bleed, and then you can see that the image has been taken out all the way to the bleed's edge. If you don't have a bleed, let's see if she actually, she does, but see how it's like, I don't know why it's not red. But if you don't have a bleed, remember that you can go up to File and do Document Setup, and this is where you can come in and make sure that you have a bleed. Oh, that's why, because she had a slug and not a bleed. So your slug can be zero, and then your bleed should be 0.125, and it should pop in there when you hit tab, and then click OK, and now you can see that red line, and so that photo should go all the way out to the red line, and it shouldn't be squashed or skewed, So, and that's just cropping it, but um, it shouldn't be squashed or skewed like by transforming it and not constraining the proportions. All right, so I think that is it. Remember that you can, based on the assignment example, you can do more than two text boxes, but you want the main message to be kind of the big focal point. Um, and I'm, I'm not really opposed to the message being something different, happy birthday or whatever the case may be. So uh, just make sure that you are still following the same parameters that are laid out in the tutorial and in the assignment instructions.